and gentlemen, I'm about bringing on someone I respect so much. This guy, what did they do you now? Not be you. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm about to. Yeah, do it. Do it. I'll come praise the rich. You'll come talk to you. Pull the loops in. Is that the eagles? It's not even funny. All right, uh, good evening. Good evening, huh? I make it up like there, I should be the one fly. My name is like Igor, the Prince of Bazubia, and um, uh, I, I greet everybody. You know, so why I think about that, God, they talk here. When the first aim, you know, that ring rat at Agatha that's standing there, just here now. When he hear us, Kimono, that's where we sit down. We stand up for all come. I won't be lamb, but I don't want to make God disturb me. So, bros, I hate you. You know, before when I small, yeah, we believe what we get. They be say, once you be musician or you be artist, you must carry dreadlocks. Say, if you be artist, for people to know you must drink the smoke. Yeah, one guy for one I know. It. Yeah, that's the one who dreads the learner. The guy not the cold yet. But your mind that dreadlocks. I think more for drugs or not with that. that. <laughs> After they talk to now, but the guy might be an artist. Talk to man. And the guy they say girl and for daughter. <laughs> the guy gets the wrong purpose of the talent. You know? But I must say this because of time. Any of you have come for motion here? Yeah? Eh? No motion. So I think I won't talk a bit. Hello? Don't anybody here come from Mushi, if I talk and I joke, don't knock me for it. I go to one church for Mushi where they invite me. But if you hear testimony, you go show. You know those two island kids that we share testimony? Praise the Lord! I just got to church this morning to tell you that the Lord has been so good to me. You know, last week I was about to travel to the United Kingdom, and guess what? The flight ticket was. 300,000 naira. But I prayed to God, and after I prayed, I went online and I checked. The flight ticket was reduced to 299,000. Praise the Lord! Because of 1,000, he shared testimony. I got to the Mushi Church. Everybody that shared testimony, finish. See one bros. Just come. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Church, hallelujah. Ah, church. And then, uh, Twin day, they will not help me down the road. Uh, yesterday, uh, oh no, I almost died. The best one almost killed me. Nice to stand there, Paula. But I want to thank God, say, Paula, not kill me. Josh, praise the Lord, they say, Hallelujah. The next person to give testimony, Paula. Uh, when people hear say Kola won't key to me, as Kola near the mic, the front seat is empty. Thank <laughs> God, Lala. Twelve for Jesus! Everybody lock up. Twelve for Jesus! They lock up. Kola just won't cook, but as he bring us in Boston, Nasho Shala, hallelujah. Kola <laughs> say, ah, George, hmm. Oh no. The testimony went to the talk, so not true. <laughs> Yesterday, I almost keep cooling. Today, just small thing, I come out. But, George, I want me to help me beg him. Make him not do what he do yesterday when I almost keep him. He be trying to make me, ah! Jesus, next week, Sunday, I'm going to share testimony, I don't kill somebody. <laughs> You know some church where you go go, you go shop. When pastor they preach, they, just when pastor they use message, they threaten you. Everyone and hell. People of God, you are here, laughing. Give me another Christ. If you don't give me another Christ, you will die. In fact, my father, you always honor my word. Me, I did the church. I did wash. He said, let me tell you, if you are a member of this church, and you've not given your life to Christ, don't do it. You will die! <laughs> me, 
Yeah, at the back of the church, and they laughed. <laughs> and the man of God looked at me. Young man, why are you laughing? I said, ah. He said, if you are a member of the church, and you never give your life to Christ, you could die. I'm not be your member. <laughs> your members can die. <laughs> You know, but the essence of your gift. <laughs> we have been radio, eh? Because many people, many artists, they flow. I say it depends on the flow. Na banga, or na bomb. If na banga, just wait for Christmas period. If na bomb, go on, not. Madugudi, if you go there, you not blow, you not go feel blow for life. Eh? <laughs> Seriously. You know, but because of time, um, you know the kind of work entertainers we they do, our work not the tangible. You know, feet hold the work because that service will render. You know, whether you don't maybe the act or you the crack jokes or you the sing. Now, our senior colleague Ali Baba, he just called me now, so he did close by. So I'm gonna wait for him. Ali say once we they do any job, we will collect our corporate money. And not yet. Say because when you don't collect your complete money, the job not go as planned. You don't buy it. Because if my carpenter or person with a supply speaker, you see make you bring speaker or make share. If you bring up all your house or your shop, if you don't like the speaker or you don't like the shed, the person will bring up go carry and back, go to shop, another customer will come buy him. But we will be comedians, artists, as I did now so. If Rata has in a 10 jokes and one crack, and I go crack five, I go go me Rata that say, Alpha, where my balance? He go tell me, say, you not crack the 10 jokes. If five jokes when I crack, I not go be back there, back. <laughs> they don't go, they don't go. <laughs> I'm not year old. I do one event for one company. They go pay me advance before the event. I go to tell them, okay, I will collect my full money before the event. He said, ah, don't worry, he goes, the money sit that as I reach there for the venue. The guy say, You know I'm under pressure now. I can't do anything. Just start up start this event. I first start the event. Many of us I don't understand. I start the event, finish. Finish the event. I say, Okay. Remember, I don't tell me your money sit that as I reach the So that happened. My balance. You see how he goes. He did a wonderful job. But right now, I'm not with cash. Okay, just come to the office on Monday and I will give you your balance. I did drive from mainland. They call my land, I call the man. Hello, good afternoon. I said, he goes, how are you? I said, okay, I'm fine. He go ask me one question. Where are you? I said, okay, I'm on my way to the island. He said, oh, oh. He goes, you should have called me earlier on. I'm on the mainland. Because of traffic, I'm not keep it. The following day, I just put it for island. Now I call him. Hello, good afternoon. I said, he goes, how are you? I said, okay, I'm fine. Where are you? I said, okay, I'm on the island. Uh-uh. You should have called me now. I'm on the mainland. The third day. Now I call the man. He said, Eagles, how are you? I said, I'm fine. Where are you? Now I ask the man, where are you to? <laughs> because say, uh, you don't want to tell me where you are. I said, okay. You want to know where I am? He said, yes. I said, I am everywhere. <laughs> he now said, since you are everywhere, I'm on my way to London. I said, okay, I don't know London with you. <laughs> he paid me my money that day. Don't be sure. He paid my money that day. And for many of them, I'm still young. Please. Any married person there? Yet? How many? There are plenty, eh? Don't worry. All, all the young persons see you. <laughs> mm, marriage. <laughs> you know, say, what are the year words? Say, when I smart, they just say, that person did secret court. He did almost secret court. <laughs> There's no secret court that is secret than marriage. Marriage is the number one secret court. They know they tell you what you will see until you go enter. Don't be mistaken, God. <laughs> no, now they laugh now. You know, say when young, young guys. See, let, let, let me just advise you on this one. See, for marriage, if you want marry, when you go meet maybe your pastor or your counselor, and they tell you, just say, they won't, they won't deceive you small. Ah, my brother, you made the right decision. You are now a man. Welcome to the club. That's your wife to be. Wow! Marriage is very sweet. We enjoy marriage. Come on, we don't talk to your wife. Come on, ah, baby, ah, they, they are getting married next week or next two weeks. <laughs> when you don't enter marriage, you don't see a marriage. The same man when you go meet, say you want marriage. 
go meet her, say, ah, daddy, I so married me. He said, my brother, in marriage, you need patience. <laughs> and endurance is the key. You don't see my wife there, so, mm, my brother, you don't want to know. Then you, when you say, you don't see how marriage be finished, what's any of your new guy? One come marry, come meet you, say, ah, eh, girls, I want marry, now you could advise her. You sure say you don't hear from God? <laughs> if you don't hear, don't answer anybody. <laughs> you don't enter, you don't enter. Huh? After my wedding finish, we got to honeymoon. When I was in the world, I did a lot of things. So, when I got repent, after the honeymoon, I don't know what it makes me after the resume. Was it I can walk? I don't know what it makes me forget my phones for house. Me, I know how my phone they ring. I, I did on air. I don't know what they call different frequency. Was it at 95.1? Only me they call 96.9. 99.3 was it I can Lord was waiting there for I say, Lord, Lord, you don't understand me. Lord was saying, What? I say, Lord, Lord, I don't forget what I have my house. My phone. Usually, once I reach house, as I own my diploma will open. As I enter park, when I, my wife will not look me from the back of me. When I come, I will lock the door. My wife will not open the door. And she will ask me one question. Do you want to eat before you take your bath? Or you take your bath before you eat? I mean, of course, you That day, you reach house, feel like walk. My wife, I don't feel rich. As I don't reach house like this. As I didn't walk, on, say my gates don't open. The gate man already there. I said, What did they do, David? I open, I pack. As I want knock door, my door already open. I say, My wife won't keep me now. <laughs> As I, I see my wife, she don't dress. I say, ah, Baby, where are you going to now? She said, ah, I'm not being dressed for my own house. I said, No problem. She asked me this question, David. <laughs> Your food is ready. Should I bring it now? I said, this woman won't poison me. <laughs> now I said, oh, won't I just take my bath? You want to give me food? She said, I prepare your favorite food. My wife not to eat alone. And me too. Of course, I'm not going to eat alone. Young couple. As I enter, she bring the food home. My wife not bring it until I say she won't join me. I said, ah, babe, are you not joining me? Let's eat this. She said, no, that, uh, she just ate now. She, she just prepared. I said, eh, eh. not be me, you go poison me. I call Bengals, you know I don't have appetite. Now my wife bring her. She goes to come with super. She just tests super. She, she poison her. Two of us will just go die. Push up, finish, not the apple. I can't look my phone for the side of the bed. Just say, babes, can you imagine? I forgot my phone. Was there any major serious call? My wife said, ah, you forgot your phone. I didn't even notice it. Though. I said, you should. There's no phone ring out. I didn't know. Oh, your phone's are even there. I said, Oh, well, I carry my phone. We are the fear women. 12 in the night, I just sleep. My wife wake me. Stand up, okay? stand up. I say, What? He said, We need to talk. I say, ah, Can't it wait with the money? He said, No. Who is Rosalind? I said, ah, Rosalind, is he not the mechanic? He said, No, it's your father. <laughs> <laughs>